Hey guys, welcome back again to RPEG Electronics. This is your host Ray, and today I'm going to show you how to set up MAME for use with Gun for IR. All right, uh, Gun for IR is the project created by JB of JB Game Lab, and uh, if you purchased it from me at RPEGElectronics.com, I want to just give you guys the best service and show you how to get it working with MAME first. All right, because MAME is one of the more complicated ones. Okay. So first things first is you have to have MAME, obviously, okay? So I do not provide uh, any emulators or ROMs, but hey, Google is your friend. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my MAME folder, which I have here in LaunchBox, actually, and we just need to change two things, really. Okay, first things first, you want to go to MAME.ini, which is in your configuration folder here. All right, uh, all of these settings that you have currently, you don't really have to change. The only thing that you want to change is you want to scroll down to core input options, which is right here. All right. Make sure that light gun is set to one. All right. That means it's on using light guns and the controller CTRLR. I named my file Ray because that's my name, but you can name it whatever. All right. Just make sure that you have this matching in the next step. So in your main folder in the CTRLR folder, you're also going to make a config file over here called Ray. All right. And I'll upload this. I'll, I'll put this on the on the description so that you can see it. And this is what we call stable controller ID mapping. What this means is that even if you unplug your guns or your controllers, they will always be mapped to the correct uh, player, meaning player one or two or three, four, five, six, whatever you want. So in my case, I have it mapped to uh, X input player one is equal to uh, joy code one, meaning in MAME, whichever controller is player one uh, in the computer is player one in MAME. Same for player two. Gun code is where it's a little uh, more complicated sometimes. So map input device, this string, this uh, number vid underscore two, three, four ampersand amp parentheses or semicolon, uh, sorry, semicolon, uh, PID underscore 8042. Okay, no matter which gun you have, uh, which gun or brand or whatever you get from Gun for IR, this is always going to be the HID, okay, that you're going to get that a Gun for IR is going to spit out for player one and this one for player two. All right, as, as far as I know, I've tried this on over 20 guns, it's always the same one and two. Okay, I set that to gun coat one and two. Make sure that you copy this line, these two lines exactly as it is if you're missing a quotation mark or an arrow or something it's not going to map properly all right so what this is doing is actually saying hey i have this uh, file named ray i want to call this file to determine who was player one and two okay and that's it really uh i'm going to show you how i configured my inputs just to make life easy but you don't have to do it my way because you may have a different controller than i do but i'll just show you what i did all right uh, in the configs file, there's a file called default. This is going to be the default for anything that doesn't have like its own special configuration. All right. The, everything else has like maybe a start key or up, down, left, right might be a little bit different, but this is my default. And I always set this file to, uh, read only. All right. So I'll show you properties. I want this read only cause I don't want MAME rewriting this every time uh, it turns on because it was a lot of work. So I have joystick up set to D-pad up, joystick Y-axis up, or key code up. That means I can use the D-pad, the analog sticks, or my keyboard up. Whatever it is, this is gonna be up on player one, and that's the same for player two, okay? And then player one, two, and three button, I have it set to either joypad, gun code, which means my gun button uh, one, mouse code one, or gun code button two, button three for number three. Very simple, right? One, two, three buttons, and that's really it. Okay, cool. All right, so what this is gonna do when you open up MAME, all right, I'm gonna open up a game here, okay? It's a very easy test. I'm gonna go to, uh, let's go to Time Crisis. Who doesn't love Time Crisis? All right. Now, some games may require internal uh, calibration. Like I know Carnival, uh, Carnival needs its own internal calibration. All right, so that, that's, that's a different story, but for the majority, 80% of the games, this config will be fine. Okay, I'm gonna launch it. Okay, 
Now, here's another uh, nuance here. Uh, you'll notice that my mouse is no longer, my crosshair is not showing anymore, but that's because it's mapped exactly to my gun. So when I move my gun, I'm moving my, my new gun for IR over here, okay? Then we're moving. All right. Now, I have bezels on here. You can see I have this uh, nice time crisis uh, bezel. But this bezel means that it's boxed into 4 to 3 ratio. So make sure that if you're going to be doing it this way, if you want to play it in the original aspect ratio, you have the, the, the GUI set to content aspect ratio mode, not to um, full screen mode. I'm, not, I'm actually going to show you this right now because a lot of people are confused about this. So here, I'm in full screen mode. That means that when I point my gun, it's going to be exactly line of sight, even though I'm on the left and even on the left and right sides, okay? It's going to be perfect in full screen mode. But for those those four to three games, those oldies, they actually box you in right about here. So it does not allow the mouse to go here, but gun for IRO wants to go here. So then it's going to be offset to like this side. It's going to make the, the end line right about here, and then it's going to push the mouse this way. So I have to change this to content aspect ratio. See, it's boxed me in now. And that's what the gun for IR is going to interpret as your full screen. All right, it, it's only this box here. I'm going to upload this setting, and now when I use my gun for IR to point on the left and right, it's actually going to be a little bit further out left and right than I'm actually pointing at. It's going to be offset by about uh, an inch and a half or so, varying on your screen. Make sure your aspect ratio is set correctly here. So this is the correct way to get perfect calibration or perfect uh, line of sight in MAME old school games. There's another way, I'm going to show you that now too. All right. Some people might call this like blasphemy, but if you remove the bezels and stretch the game out to full screen, you won't have this problem. So if I go to tab, press tab, video options, screen zero, that, that's, how, that's all the different uh, screens I can get, right? I can turn off my bezels and maintain aspect ratio to off. So now I'm perfectly stretched out to fill my screen. And in this case, full screen mode, no problem. It'll be perfect because the MAME is now allowing full screen movement. Okay. All right. So I'm going to go back because we, we, we like our bezels. Bezels are cool. Okay. Now, when you go to each individual light gun game, all right? No, some games used light guns, like physical with a wire, like you can move around light guns. And some used positional guns, meaning that they weren't actually light guns. The nozzle had nothing going out of it. It was just a potentiometer on the bottom. So if you watched uh, Brad D's video or Ralph, Retro Ralph's video on those um, alien extermination guns, those were positional guns. So you have to configure, you have to go into your configurations each time for each game by doing this. Input this machine, not in general, this machine. And in this case, hey, I only have trigger, pedal, gun X, and gun Y. All right? So I've already configured this one perfectly. But for some newbies who never did this before, all you have to do is go to light gun X analog, which means left and right. That's the X axis in math, all right? I'm going to hit enter and wave my gun slowly in a straight line left to right. Okay? And I actually, I actually wiggled a little bit because it says Y, not X. All right, so I got to press delete, enter. Yes, see, see what I did? I just start at one point and I just move to another, okay? Yeah, notice how you see the mouse, the actual pointer and the uh, crosshair is offset by that much. That's the, the content aspect ratio thing that I was talking about. See, you can see the offset here. The, the gun for IR thinks it's over, is where the orange uh, pointer is, but the content aspect ratio is boxing me in so that I have perfect line of sight when I play these old school games. All right, so I, me I moved from left to right to do gun X and then to do Y, well, I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory, but you just want to slowly move up to down and it'll map to Y, okay? You don't need a big movement, just a, just a slow one like this, all right? You don't want to go wiggling it around because it's going to add all kinds of weird stuff. It'll be like gun, a light gun Y equals gun one X, Y plus Y, and that's just wrong, okay? Now, the start and coin buttons, you can set to whatever you want. I always have mine set to five because that's the default. It's easier. And the trigger, well, this is self-explanatory as well. 
Make sure that you're pointing on the screen when you pick trigger, otherwise it's gonna sh give you reload instead. So I'm hitting enter, I clicked, boom. Gun 1B0, which is button the first button to trigger in this case. And then foot pedal, gun 1B1. All right, I just have it set to my back button. That, that's really it. And you're pretty much ready to go. Okay, and now if I go back to return to previous menu, Return to machine, I can put some coins in. All right, I'm gonna shoot story. And I should be, and the game's working perfectly. If you use my configurations, this will always be perfect, all right? It will uh, map gun one and two to player one and two. You don't have to do anything else in main, all right? But if you have like Sindin and you wanna like use Sindin in conjunction with this, then you gotta map Sindin to, to whichever player you want, one or two, and uh, map gun for IR to the second one. All right, using these two together is uh, usually not a great idea because uh, one, I don't have a sit-in to tell you what the configurations are. Two, it, it gets messy, honestly. Okay, but that's how you do MAME. It's fairly simple. Uh, as long as you got those configs correctly, then you're good to go. All right, uh, make sure that you, after you edit your, your configuration files and your CTRL, your controller file, that you save. Don't forget to press file save, otherwise this is relatively meaningless, okay? These are the two numbers you need over here. All right, that's how I map mine. So I have two, two gunfires uh, locked into my cabinet. It's always gonna be perfect. I can unplug, reboot, whatever. It will never change. It will always be player one and two. All right, uh, I'm gonna show you a quick second example. So I actually have never played Terminator 2 on my system. All right. So yeah, see, I'm getting a CMOS RAM error, unable to read calibration. So now I gotta calibrate this game in order to play. All right, now it's asking me for uh, player gun two, which I actually don't have plugged in right now because I, I sold all my stuff. Uh, okay, I don't have gun two. So just for example, I'm gonna map this to my mouse. All right, so this calibration is completely unrelated to, to, the, um, to the gun for IR's calibration because the original game just wanted uh, a calibration to start. That's just how it was. All right. So since this is a perfect emulator, it has to do this part. All right? it, it doesn't matter if your gun is perfectly on point in Windows. This has to be done in order for the game to start. Two. See, this one wanted a three-point calibration. Every game is going to be different. Some want four points. Some want two points. Some want just shoot shoot me in the center. All right. But it has to be done. This is unrelated to how much money you spend or whatever gun you get, you still gotta do this. All right, there, there is no true like plug, plug and play everything gun. It just doesn't happen. All right, so I should be able to add coins, play, play one and two. This is my mouse. Right now I'm using my mouse. Okay, and boom, all right, it's working perfectly as it should. In this game, you can actually disable the crosshair because, well, this is a positional gun game. Meaning that this, this original game actually did not have um, a light gun, it had a positional. So they, they had to give you a crosshair, otherwise you, you wouldn't know what the heck you were. All right, so this is my mouse. Let's check to see if my gun for IR is working. My gun for IR is working, boom. All right, shooting stuff. Oh shoot, there's bombs, all right. This game is actually pretty cool. Oh cool, I can throw a bomb, all right, neat. Ooh. All right, I've never played this before, but this is actually pretty awesome. I I'm assuming I can't shoot my own men, can I? Can I hurt my own guys? Oh shit, you can't hurt you can't hurt your own guys. All right, that's uh, that's not good. Don't don't shoot your own men in battle, people. Shoot shoot them for vengeance or or, or you know for dates, but not, not 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 for battle. All right, wonderful. All right, then that's that. That that's pretty much how you get maim done. I gave you two good examples: one of a plug and play without calibration, one with a calibration. All right, I will be doing videos on a demo shooter. PlayStation is just a pain in the ass, I'll tell you that now. Uh, Dolphin and all, all the other stuff, but and Technoparad is real easy. 
But uh, yeah, that's the step one. Hope you guys found this uh, video helpful. Uh, don't forget to check out JB Game Labs. Check out the GitHub. You know, see what's going on. JB is the creator of the system. He made all this possible. All right. If you have any questions, I'll try my best to answer them. Just shoot me a message. Uh, I had some questions about Raspberry Pi. I have no idea how to do that. I'm going to admit it now. All right. So it's possible, but I don't know how. I don't. I haven't touched my pie in a very long time. All right. Cheers, guys. See you on the next one.